guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video today. It's great to have you back. It's pretty much the end of August now. I hope you've been having a wonderful summer, getting up to a bunch of fun stuff, doing fun activities. I know I've been very busy doing stuff, especially this past week. And one of the things that I've been doing is participating in Glish Week. If you're unfamiliar, Glish stands for Great Lolita International Scavenger Hunt, and it's back this year after being on a three-year hiatus, so I was super happy to join. Basically, it's a week where you get split up into teams with other Lolitas from around the world, you complete challenges together, and you post them over on Instagram for people to enjoy and to be judged by the organizers. So today, the video I'm filming is actually in relation to Glish. It's one of the challenges I need to do, which is bake a Lolita print. Now I will have another separate video with like all the rest of my Glish challenges behind the scenes, kind of what I got up to and how I did all the challenges. I will go ahead and link that video up above if I finished editing it, but I figured this was such a cute idea that the organizers came up with. I really wanted to make a full video on it. I've actually been wanting to make a series like this for a long time where I create desserts based off of Lolita prints with like the theming of the dessert and the ingredients and the decorations. So this was just a perfect opportunity for me to actually start that. So for my Bake a Lolita print video today, I will be making fruity lemon bars. Now I am sorry, please don't have a heart attack. I will be baking in this dress and no, I don't have an apron. I'm prepared, but not too prepared. I did put on like a more casual top that I won't be upset if I get flour on in case that happens. So wish me luck. Let's hope I don't have to send this beauty off to the dry cleaners immediately after this. And let's go ahead into the kitchen. But wait, first, I just have to let you know that in case you're interested in more kawaii content like this, I do post new videos every Monday and Thursday for you guys. So if you'd like to stick around for that, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video while you're watching, feel free to give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. Now let's go. Okay, so here we are in my kitchen. The lighting is probably crummy because I'm filming this late at night because I'm an excellent procrastinator. But let's just go ahead and get into the baking. Here I have all the ingredients behind me. Let's take a look. So you can see how late at night I'm filming this, 8.14. Anyway, first we're gonna want to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, while this is preheating, let's go take care of preparing our ingredients. Now, I'm one of those people that likes to have my ingredients as prepared as possible before I start baking. So let's go ahead and start by juicing these lemons. Now I'm gonna do a little fine mesh sieve action over my cup measurement here for these lemons because they got seeds all in them and I don't want them in here. So sieve, sieve, sieve. So now that we have two thirds a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice, let's go ahead and start mixing the crust on the bottom. So right into our mixer, we are going to put the flour, the white sugar, and our softened butter or margarine, which is what I'm using. And now we'll just mix this all together. Safety first, I do not want to get any of this on my dress. Okay, so I just mixed that up for a few more seconds. Here is what we're looking at. It's just a nice, light, squishy dough. So now we have the dough for our lemon bar crust on the bottom, and now we get to press it into this nine by 13 inch pan. Okay, not the prettiest crust pressing job, but uh, it'll look rustic. 
So now that this is done preheating, we're just gonna put this in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. So while the crust is baking in the oven right now, I wanna go ahead and mix the filling for the lemon bars. So let's go ahead and take care of that. So we're back at the mixing bowl and we're gonna do the filling. We're gonna start with our dry ingredients first. So we're gonna do our flour, a ton of sugar. You know, this is probably important here. And we're just gonna mix these together first to get them combined. Safety first, no spots on the dress so far. I'm doing good. And now we can add our liquid. So that is going to be our lemon juice that we squeezed earlier. And we are also going to whisk in our four eggs. I'm not cool enough to crack them open with one hand, so I tap them on the counter. Alrighty, all ingredients are in. Let's give it a spin. Here is the crust out of the oven. The edges, as you can see over here, are like a little golden, and this will have to go back in the oven, so I think this is perfect for right now. Now let's pour over the lemon topping. Well, it doesn't look like much other than a giant pan of scrambled eggs, but there you can see the little crust layer underneath. Hopefully that'll bake up and look really pretty when it's done. Back in the oven with you for 20 minutes. Definitely looking a little more golden around the edges. We've got this big old bubble in the front here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the fridge for a few minutes just to help it cool down a little quicker. As if it wasn't late already when I started, it is definitely getting much later. It's almost 10 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate the lemon squares, show you the final product, and uh, we'll see how it looks next to my fruity lemon dress. Y'all, I firmly believe like in my heart believe that I will never make anything as beautiful as this ever again. I'll give you like really good close-up shots, but look at how, oh God, there's lighting. Please no, my children. Um, yeah, so I think the color of the plate is really perfect. Actually, I grabbed this at Target. I had to hunt forever to find a mint colored plate to go with the dress, but honestly, it was so worth it. I actually had a lot of fun baking these. They're a lot easier than I thought they would be. Uh, I usually cook, I don't so much bake, but I think this is a sign that I should do it more often. And I did have my husband taste test one of these. He said they were perfect, his exact words and the presentation got an A plus as well. I really think this is such a fun idea. If you would also like to see me do more of these Bake a Lolita print style videos, definitely let me know down below in the comments. I've already got some ideas going. I would love to do it, but only if you guys would like that. And if you would also like to try your hand at making these lemon squares, I will link the recipe down below that I used. It's just from all recipes. It's very easy and straightforward. If I can do it, you can do it. Well, I've stayed up much too late making lemon bars, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here, guys. I'm definitely gonna have to try one of these as soon as I turn the camera off. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. I hope you did enjoy it. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of my evening, night, and I hope you enjoy yours as well. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.